Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me already, I'm Courtney and I make makeup tutorials, eyeshadow tutorials and all that sort of content. So if you want to see how I created this beautiful dark blue siren eyes makeup tutorial, stick around and watch the video. So first of all, I'm moisturising my client's skin with the Superdrug Vitamin E Moisturising Cream. This is a really beautiful, super hydrating moisturiser and I'm just rubbing that so it sinks deep into my client's skin. And then just giving her a little bit of Vaseline to hydrate her lips in prep for lipstick later on. I'm then going in with the Primark Brow Pencil in dark brown and I'm just lightly brushing that through my client's brows because she already has really nicely shaped brows. I don't have to add too much product. And then I'm going in with the Tinted Brow Gel from Primark once again just to add a little bit more thickness and fullness to the brow. Then I'm going in with my client's concealer colour which is Custard from NARS and I'm just laying down a really nice base for the eyeshadow to stick to. And then I'm going in with the Made by Mitchell Blush in Minted and this is going to be a really nice blue tone base for the eyeshadow to stick to. It's just going to create that really nice depth in the eyeshadow without adding too many products. And then I'm just blending that out into my client's skin tone. Now I'm going in with the Beauty Bay Earthy Palette in the shade Seahorse and then I'm just going over the entire area I placed that Made by Mitchell blush. And then I'm adding the shade Ivy in the outer corner. This is a similar deeper tone in blue. This is just to start adding depth and I'm bringing that in towards the inner corner in the entire socket of the eye to make depth in that area. I'm then going to begin to blend that out using the shade Cobra. And then I'm going in with the MUA Cosmetics Eyeliner in downtown just to line my client's lash line to start adding depth in that area. Then I'm going in to that halo eye shape that we created in the shade Bulletproof by Made by Mitchell. This is another blush but it's a really glittery black silver colour. And this is just going to start building dimension in that eye. So we created the depth with the eyeshadow and we're creating that highlight with the blush. Then I'm going back into the shade Cobra just to deepen up the outer corner of the eye to really enhance that siren eye shape. And then I'm going back in with Ivy to further deepen the outer corner and I'm going to really accentuate that in the outer corner to create a sort of V shape in the outer half of the eye. And then using a baby wipe just to clean up underneath the eye and remove any fallout. I'm then going into the inner corner with the shade Mermaids from Peaches and Cream. This is a really beautiful blue tone highlighter colour. And then I am creating a really nice thick winged liner in the MAC Black track. And I'm going to go all the way into the inner corner and create a really nice thick wing. I'm now using the Collection Cosmetics Complexion Boosting Primer in Fair Medium 2 just to give a really nice glowy base to my client's foundation. My client does have a little bit of acne scarring, however we are going to cover that up with concealer. But overall her skin is really good so we don't need to add too much coverage. I'm then going in with the shade Ginger just to cover up a little bit of scarring on my client's cheeks. This is a really good colour correction colour if you are fairer in tone. And then I'm going in with my client's foundation which is the Sheer Glow Foundation by NARS in the shade Patagonia. And then I'm going in with the cream bronzer in Laguna and I'm just going to deepen up the cheekbones, nose and forehead just to create a natural sun kissed glow. I'm 
I'm then going in with the combination of Candy Trip and Peach Sugar by Made by Mitchell. These blushes are really good together. And then I'm going in with my client's concealer colour in Custard to highlight underneath her eyes and really brighten up the under eye area. And then I'm going in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I'm just setting that with a powder puff underneath the eyes and then I go on the rest of the face with a big fluffy brush as you don't want to apply too much powder as this will cause creasing later on through the day. I'm then going in with the Doll Beauty Tan Lines Blush as a bronzer as this is a really good cool tone blush bronzer colour. And then just warming up the face a little bit more with the Morphe AF Fair Play palette. To set the entire face, I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Super Dewy Fixing Mist. This is a beautiful, really lovely smelling fixing mist. It's really good and my clients always say that their makeup lasts all day with this product. And then I'm going in with the Benefit Tickle Blush just to start adding a little bit of that glow back into the skin. Then I'm highlighting the skin using the Take Two Cosmetics Loose Highlighter in Unicorn Tears. And then just giving my client the option to apply her eyeliner herself. And then just repeating the exact same steps I took on the upper lid onto the lower lid, going in with the lighter shades and then the darker shades in the blue tone to create depth underneath the eye. And then I'm going over the bottom lid with that bulletproof blush just to add a little bit of shimmer. Then once again, I'm giving my client the option to apply her own mascara. And then I'm going in the inner corner to create that inner corner point with the MAC Black Track Gel Liner. I'm then going in with the MUA Cosmetics Eyeliner in Dusk as a lip liner. This is a really beautiful cool tone nudey grey colour and this is beautiful for a dark lip liner. Then on top of that I'm going in with the Beauty Bay Lipstick in Freckle which is a really beautiful cool tone lipstick. This is perfect to go with a darker lip liner. And then to finish off the lips, I'm going in with the Peaches and Cream Lip Gloss in Cherub. These lip glosses smell absolutely amazing. And there we have it guys, this is the final dark blue siren eyes smoky glam look. This look is so beautiful, it really enhances my client's eye shape and I just think she looks so stunning. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!